everyone. Welcome to eKnowledge Hub. I'm Madhusha and in this video we are going to discuss essay writing. Yes, let me congratulate you all those who qualified the preliminary examinations. You all know you are going to face a descriptive paper along with your mains examination. Beach, banking or SSC, whatever is the competitive examination you are going to face. You are going to face this descriptive paper. Now, what is this descriptive paper? Descriptive paper is all for testing your descriptive skills, that is writing skills. Generally, you may face essay writing, letter writing and or essay writing. Definitely, you are going to face essay and letter. Now, we are going to learn how to write an essay. Already, you might have seen and gone through the letter writing video. Now, let's get into the details of essay writing. What is an essay? How to write it? What is the structure? And how to gain more marks? Well, let's begin essay writing. So, the first question I would like to answer here is, what is an essay? See, generally speaking, essay is nothing but a written composition. You can see it's just a written composition containing an expression of your personal opinions or your personal ideas on a particular subject, whatever you're writing an essay on. So, it is actually the writer's personal opinions. Now, how to write a good essay? What can be called a good essay? If that is your doubt or question, let me answer you. It's very simple. Whenever you read some paper articles, newspaper articles, some will be more intriguing and some will be like more interesting. You will read uh, like from the beginning to the end and some articles you feel like you read one or two lines and then you will quit it, right? So these are the differences you must notice. A good uh, essay must Hold its reader's attention from the beginning to the end. That means your essay must be very interesting and should grab the attention of the reader. Not just at the beginning but towards the end of an essay. I hope it is clear now what is an essay and how an essay should look. Now the next one is very important points for you. I'm giving three points for you to remember whenever you're writing an essay. First thing is you must practice because essay writing is not simple thing of one day or two day thing. You must practice because this is an art of writing. Exactly. And as I told you, it cannot be happen in one or two days. You must have patience and great care to write the best essay. However, I'm going to give a few tips for you to get mastered, if not completely to some extent in a few days of time. The first tip here I want you to remember is read. Yes, what you have to read, you have to read good essays or you can say you have to read better essays or you can read newspaper articles every newspaper article is not less than an essay so read newspaper articles read better essays so that you can practice well when you're reading do not just read it like that absorb <laughs> yeah i told absorb so you what you have to absorb you have to observe and absorb two things absorb the style of writing it doesn't mean the handwriting how it is it's printed right so the style of writing how it is introduced how the author is starting an essay and how it is leading and how the point is uh, you know put forward to the readers and the second thing you have to observe is the words which are used, the link which he used. So the first thing you have to do is read, read as many as you can, good number of essays or you can read newspaper articles. Second thing is while you're reading, you have to observe as well as absorb. So what you have to absorb Two things. One is writing style. Second thing is the vocabulary, the language which is used. That plays a vital role. So these are the two things you have to keep in mind while you are doing this first thing. That is art of writing. You have to develop it. And the second thing is you have to look into these things. So every essay depends on two things. Those two things are subject matter. Second thing is language. I'm going to give you, you know, uh, a 
But the count of this language that means how it has to be written, how it has to be put forward, your ideas and all. But I can't give you this thing, this is subject matter. Unless you got subject matter, subject matter is nothing but the content. So, what you're going to write the essay on that is your subject matter. So, the subject matter must be your material. You should have clear ideas based on your experience, reading, and observation and these ideas you have to put into words and these words must convey what the writer wishes to say that means what you wanted to say for this you should know the right words and most appropriate ways to put them together in other words an essay calls for ideas that are based on your everyday life or experience or ideas that you have imagined I hope it is clear so you have to keep this in mind whatever the topic you have chosen to write an essay on you should have good amount of material the matter on that second thing it's a language as i told you the words you use and the writing style and all we're going to discuss that that is thirdly the structure so a rich stock of words and of structure is definitely an important place of important role here so it calls for the ability to put these thoughts which you have the subject matter the material you put these thoughts and sentences together with the help of the language the words which you use and all so we already discussed what the good essay must contain the quality of good essays it must hold the readers attention right from the beginning to the end all right now let's move on to the third one that is structure what is the structure so this plays a vital role every essay has a structure and the structure i'm going to classify here into three parts yes the first one the introduction yes every essay must have a beautiful introduction it should be like a kick start how to write one i'm going to discuss now and the second one is the body yeah body of an essay and the third one is yes you know it the conclusion or the summary part now let's go by the first one the introduction right what is this introduction paragraph this is the first paragraph of your essay obviously that is the introduction right but here you have to do remember what does it do what does it do what an introduction does generally it introduces the main idea of your essay yes the main idea of your essay must be introduced in the introduction itself and remember a good opening paragraph captures the interest of your reader and tells why your topic is important see the same essay will be chosen or might be the if only one essay is given in your examination the same topic will be written as an essay by number of students but how your essay stands apart how your essay can get good marks like more marks depends on not just your length the words and the structure and all it depends upon what are the thoughts you put so guys before uh, going into this more let me tell you if you have an idea if anyone has an idea on mind mapping if you got any idea on mind mapping so please do follow this mind mapping guys in your examination especially for essay because see the main difference in the essays on same topic is random thoughts are put randomly which doesn't give a good structure you see i can't make heads or tails of most of the essays which i read of my students because first thing last last thing first middle one here there that this is what happened because you know our minds are daily workshop and it is you know ideal or when it is started thinking on some particular thing right and you have to be very careful while you are writing an essay because you have to give serial numbers that means you have to put your thoughts in a proper order in order to write a best or beautiful essay i must say so mind mapping helps 
a lot. If you do not know about mind mapping, do let me know through your comments. I can make a video, a short video for you. Well, now let's get into this again. So, a good opening paragraph captures the interest of your reader. So, how to write one? That would be your next question, right? Well, I'm going to answer that too. So, the introduction, as I told you, must be kickstart. Hence, you should design it to attract the reader's attention. Here in your examination, reader is nothing but the evaluator. And give the reader an idea of the essay's focus. That means, you must show that the essay is not a kind of, you know, uh, something lame. You got some stuff. That means, you got the material, you have the content and you are putting your thoughts in a beautiful way. Now, how to kickstart an essay? I am giving you a few ideas here to start your essay. Like begin with an attention grabber as I told you, kickstart. So, how? Let me give you. The attention grabber you use, uh, like you use is up to you. But like you can do as you wish. You can start with whatever the ideas you got. But however, I am giving you a few ideas here. The first one here is a start information what is a startling it's not starting startling information or startling statement you can say so what is this in simple words I can say it's a kind of shock statement it's not something which should be always new to the reader it's not something which should be a shock treatment but it should be a statement which you know provoke the thought of the reader and which attracts the reader's attention but do remember guys, the information must be true and verifiable. You cannot give some startling information which cannot be verifiable. Like let me give an example on this gender gap. Uh, though I am giving this as an example, <laughs> you cannot go with the verifiable thing. So like this, uh, in India for every thousand men, there are only 980 women. Right, you're making the reader to think on the statement which you are given and you're saying do you know for every thousand males in india there are only 980 females so it is a thought a kind of thought provocation right so this is not something which is unknown it might be known to him or her but it's a kind of little shock that is what startling information. You can put anything, but make sure it should be true and verifiable. My example is just an example. Now, the second way I'm giving you here is anecdote. So, what is this anecdote? It is a kind of short story, guys. Very short story. When, when I say story, do not start it like once upon a time they lived so and so. Guys, this is not a story. This is anecdote, which is a short story that illustrates a point. So, the story which you're going to write, it must be like uh, two to three sentences, not more than that. And you can make the story which is relevant to your essay. Do not give any irrelevant information. The story must be relevant and make sure it must be only in two to three sentences. All right. And moving on to the third one, facts, figures and statistics. This is one of uh, the best kickstarters because whenever you're giving some facts, figures and statistics, that will be like uh, you have good command on that essay like you have good command or information on that particular essay topic but guys whenever you're giving facts, figures and statistics do remember they must be verifiable. You see, there are two kinds of figures like macro figures and micro figures. What is this macro and micro? So, macro figures are something which you can go with rounding off. Like uh, nearly 70% of Indian population use it to live in villages. That is macro. But when you're going with micro, you cannot go with nearby or around kind of thing. You have to state it like you cannot say there are nearly 29 states in India. No, no nearly. You have to put it forward. Like you have to say exactly how many states are there, how many UTAs, like the union territories are there. Like you have to, whatever the figure, if you're not, when you're talking about the budget, the figure must be very clear. So micro no rounding off, no nearness, no approximate. Macro, you can go for that. So, make sure the figures which are which you are giving, the statistics which you are putting must be verifiable. And the fourth one is quotations. Yes. 
Quotations obviously attracts their attention, right? But you cannot put any quotation. As you know, only one or two quotations, you cannot put anything. You have to make sure that whatever the quotation you are writing there must be relevant to the topic only. If it is irrelevant, better do not uh, start with quotations. If you know only one quotation or two quotations, that may not be relevant to all topics, right? But guys, quotations are really one of the best uh, attention grabbers and moving on to the fifth one i have definition yes you cannot define any topic or every simple statement or word of the topic you have to define only the important words or phrases or some new phrases or new words like uh, when you are writing an essay on female forticide you can talk about what exactly is this female forticide so that definitely helps and uh, attracts the attention but not every simple thing you cannot define like that okay now moving on to the sixth one yeah i got one more historical background so some topics when you're writing they do demand historical background if you give historical events that definitely creates a you know attention it definitely creates a good attention and that that would be definitely one of the best starters but guys i'm telling you you can use any one of these or any other if you have better starter than these six points which i have given it's up to you to take any of your starter but make sure your starter that means your introduction must be an attention grabber and here comes the next one Right after your introduction, yes, immediately, I want you all to write a thesis statement. What is this thesis statement? I bet you all might have been reading some newspapers, at least the Hindu. Obviously, those who are preparing for competitive examinations, you do read newspaper, right? So, when you're reading newspaper, you might have observed this thing. Heading will be something like, the topic or name or something and just beneath the heading you will be reading a statement a single statement with not giving heed or attention to any grammar you can find a single statement so what is that statement that statement is our thesis statement the newspapers they might be writing beneath the title just after the title but where we have to write in our essay after our introduction para so why to write this statement because definitely it put one or two marks extra to you okay additional what exactly is this thesis statement let me tell you so thesis statement is a statement which presents your main idea or point or argument of your essay see whatever your essay is you can summarize in one statement that statement is our this statement yes and make sure whatever you're writing your entire essay must be limited to your thesis statement only yes you must limit your entire essay to the topic you have introduced in your thesis statement to make sure limit your and say the topic of your thesis statement uh, simply speaking your essay revolves around the thesis statement only because this is the central point of your essay it gives essay right direction because i told you, you our minds are daily workshops once you started a thought here it leads to something and something from there and all and it comes a grappa van so stop this grappa van when you have this thesis statement your essay should revolve around the statement because this is the central idea so you cannot go with grappa van you can go in a right direction uh, because you got a thesis statement so it gives the reader a concise summary of your essay what your essay is talking about so make sure to write a statement just after your introduction so that's our first part introduction now let's see the second part the body what is the body nothing but supporting paragraphs guys do remember see uh, whenever you're choosing uh, to write an essay or letter i suggest you to write essay first next letter do not start with letter because essay takes more time than letter letter almost if you know the structure you can do it very well with less you know uh, you know within less span of time but essay takes a lot of time like you have to think you have to recollect some points mind mapping as i told you and then you have to write and essay i told you the structure 
introduction right supporting paragraphs and conclusion but what i didn't talk and what i want you to remember is how many paragraphs you have to write what so let me brief it here your introduction will be only paragraph no matter what your introduction single paragraph and your conclusion is also a single paragraph yes introduction is one paragraph conclusion is one paragraph but your body should not be one paragraph it should at least have two paragraphs or more than two do remember two or more than two you cannot write single paragraph as your body so write small ones and make sure you got at least two but make sure to go with three at least that would be ideal for your essay so this is what i would like to stress here let's go back to the body right supporting paragraphs are the body as i told you supporting paragraphs make up the main body of your essay so what do they do how to write a supporting paragraph mind mapping everything like every uh, point you have recollect can make a beautiful paragraph or every point you can recollect if you put an order you can take two or three points and write a beautiful paragraph to introduce the topic now the supporting paragraphs must develop your essay's main idea yes they develop the main idea of your essay but now how to write them easy let me tell you that so list the points that develop the main idea of your essay i, I told you mind mapping and uh, place each point in its own paragraph like i told you when you remember when you recollect the things uh, some might be similar so that similar things two to three similar things will become one paragraph uh, like that you have to segregate them develop each supporting point with facts details and examples guys this is very important whatever you're writing you cannot simply give a, a statement like that every statement must be verifiable you must give some supporting information especially in this body so to connect your supporting paragraphs you write one paragraph no how many paragraphs you have to write minimum two so i told you to write three paragraphs in order to write this paragraphs you cannot simply start one paragraph in uh, you know hyderabad and the paragraph in delhi and the paragraph in mumbai you have to connect them how to connect i'm giving you some transition words so these are the words which are used to connect your paragraphs let us see what are they the first transition word is to list different points when you're listing point i told you transition words are nothing but linking words like connectors okay so they link your paragraphs so first one is for listing different points you can use like first second third you might have seen at the beginning i use firstly secondly thirdly because i'm listing different points there right so you can see here an example in the first people enjoy the companionship of cats okay and i'm developing that one as a single paragraph by giving some supporting information and some other examples second paragraph in the second place cats are civilized members of the household i'll give some supporting information how they can be called civilized uh, members like they will not you know like they will not go into mud and put all that solid uh, mud on them they keep themselves clean so i'll give some examples and supporting information and uh, lastly or finally one of the most attractive features of cats as house pets is their ease of care so how it will be i'll be explaining so this is how you are going to list out different points so when you are listing out you can use this first second third but always you do not list out there are different ways right for that the second one i have for counter sometimes you have to counter your first paragraph that means you talk something positively in the first paragraph now you wanted to go with negatively some like pros and cons then how do you use what are the transition words you use uh, like them however even though on the other hand nevertheless so these are the some transition words you can use in your paragraphs like in the first paragraph you might have mentioned some pros some in positive points now you wanted to list out some cons you can mention like however this product or some the scheme has not reached the extent which are it is expected something like that you can mention and uh, 
for additional idea if you wanted to mention some additional idea how do you by using this transition words like another in addition to related to furthermore also so these are the transition words and to show cause and effect this one is quite common we do generally use cause and effect most often and then you use this therefore thus as a result of consequently this will be our last paragraph of your body not the essay generally you will go with this cause and effect or if you wanted to conclude some point in paragraph in between you can use them okay so these are a few transition words and um, like all good paragraphs each supporting paragraph should also have a structure like this first one topic sentence that is what's your paragraph is talking about second one supporting statements are sentences as i told you for every statement which you give you have to give backup information supporting information it cannot be believed just like that it cannot be believed just like that without supporting information so you have to mention that and third one a summary statement are sentence so you have to conclude that like cause and effect or something whatever you wanted to mention so every supporting paragraph must hold the structure like this so this is about the body now let's move on to the third one summary paragraph nothing but the conclusion so how do you conclude in summary to conclude the conclusion is no way no way you are going to start your summary like that yes do remember please don't do that way so what is a summary paragraph by the way it is concluding your essay right so the summary paragraph comes at the end of your essay after you have finished developing your ideas that means you are summarizing your ideas here so the summary paragraph is often called conclusion because you are concluding all your ideas which you have mentioned in your paragraph so what does it do it summarizes or restates the main idea of the essay do you remember here you're not going to write anything new here you're summarizing or you are simply restating the main idea you want to leave the reader with the sense that your essay is complete hence you wanted to write one how do you write one i told you do not use conclusion to conclude to summarize no way you're not going to do what you have to do restate what you have to restate the strongest points of your essay that support your main idea simply speaking this is statement but do not write it as it is second thing conclude your essay by restating the main idea in different words third thing you restate you wrote one or two you know points which are main and thirdly or finally what you have to do is suggest a plan or give your personal opinion suggest a plan for action or give your personal opinion that way it would be known that you have completed your essay so do remember and that is how you have to write summary but not by saying that in summary to conclude to summarize in closing do not ever use such paragraphs or you know such phrases in fact so these are too obvious and way to be effective so when you read the newspaper article you will see no article the last paragraph the conclusion paragraph of any article you cannot find this no you do not find these of so what they have they do restate the thesis statement in other words rewrite some important points and they will give suggestion or they will simply state their opinion so this is how an essay must be written the structure we have discussed guys that's not the end ha huh. i'm giving an example here so use a transitional phrase which summarizes a point in your essay instead for example so this is a conclusion of an essay you can guess what is an essay on the benefits overweigh the dangers obviously but are the numerically superior benefits worth the heavy price man has to pay reliance on the computer system is getting heavier by the minute in every field of activity or branch of knowledge is that seemingly innocuous reliance a healthy one wouldn't man become a robot losing his mental faculties gradually but surely losing his individuality losing his freedom 
only time can tell guys whenever you question do remember whenever you're writing question some people do start their essays with question like a group discussion version you are the person who is going to answer also you are responsible to give answer you cannot uh, leave answer for readers imagination do remember so here is the answer these are questions here on the answer only time can tell as we have seen poverty is non contributor to crime therefore it should not be discounted when considering prevent crime so you might have understood they are talking about computers cyber crime and all so this is how our essay was concluded so you have not seen anywhere the phrases like to summarize in conclusion and all right so keep that in mind so that's our example now i'm giving you some points mind this mind them see these are the points which are overlooked but that overlook will cost you your marks so do not overlook grammar and spelling plays a vital role i told you language first thing is subject matter and style of writing language here in language one thing is the structure the second thing comes here grammar and spelling so check your spelling yes uh it's in this uh, you know uh, fast growing world with uh, mobile phones taking or everything we are habituated to shortcuts do not write any shortcuts in your examination you have to write it completely no contrast like no compressed words no shortcuts okay so check your spelling well check your grammar subject verb agreement must uphold every time okay subject verb object that is the structure read your essay again if time permits but when you are practicing do read while you are practicing and you are writing practicing exercises or essays do read your essays again so you will know how many mistakes you have committed or you will know how well you could improve your essay kind of thing but in exam is not possible though make sure each sentence has a subject verb and okay make sure the subjects and verbs agree with each other important check the verb tenses of each each sentence so when you're writing an essay you cannot write essay in all the three tenses you can write either in present or past or future you cannot write all the three tenses not possible you cannot do that okay mind that thing also make sure that each sentence makes sense this is very very important you have to make sure your sentence is giving sense okay now second thing i would like to put here is style and organization yes what does it mean i told you you have to organize uh, give an order to your thoughts so make sure essay has an introduction supporting paragraphs and a summary paragraph check that you have a thesis statement important guys you must have a thesis statement that identifies the main idea of the essay check all your paragraphs follow the proper paragraph format which i told you topic statement supporting paragraphs and conclusion of that and ensure that your essay is interesting it should not be boring if it is boring you will not get marks it should be interesting right from the beginning to the end so these are the points i would like to talk about so this is all about our essay so guys your essay will be you know segregator for correction evaluation will be done not just based on your matter or the material that is the knowledge which you possess but also your language but also for your language your style of writing it doesn't mean that you are going to write some uh, like chsl you are going to write pen and paper their writing also matters but you know in banking you are going to type so you have to improve your typing speed no spelling mistakes and uh, organization that means you have to organize your thoughts you have to give a proper structure you cannot make first one in the middle middle one in the first or last or something do not do that kichdi kind of thing you have to put proper order to your thoughts okay this must be the first paragraph this must be the thing which should go into the third paragraph or this should be uh, my last paragraph or this i will discuss in the conclusion or something like that you have to remember and your first paragraph which is nothing but the introduction must have a thesis statement just remember so there we go all right guys this is all about
about essay writing do use the tips which are given in this video to make your essay more presentable and to gain more marks all the best for your examination and i'll be seeing you in the next video till then have a nice time